Welcome back to the V Studio. Right now we have David Goffey from Bitmovement with us at the studio. So David, share with us some of the key trends you see taking place in today's media industry. So I think, um, it's a good question. I think um, containerization um, is probably the biggest single disruptor that we're seeing this year. Mm -hmm. um, and something that we've employed ourselves in the way that we build our, our video processing out. Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely a trend that we're just, just seeing generally, not just across our industry, but in general. Yep. Um, I think specifically into the, the broadcast industry, you know, there's uh, changes with codecs coming along, mm -hmm. um, things like AV1, um, AV1 compared to HVC, mm -hmm. and the advances that that's going to bring, particularly in the new media space, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in areas where you've got constrained bandwidth. Um, so we see that as uh, being a, a significant uh, challenge and a change coming through, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, adoption that has to go through. So. Um, and I guess as well, we are and not, not, not unique here, but uh, you know, people are now talking about things like machine learning um, and AI being introduced um, into the broadcast world. Mm -hmm. And um, that we see as being, I think, a very significant trend. Mm -hmm. And you can see that you can walk around the, the show floors yeah. and you can listen to what people are saying in conferences and that becomes uh, pretty clear that that's on a lot of people's minds right now. Mm -hmm. And what are the solutions that Bitmovement is bringing to us this year at Broadcast Asia? So, so I guess um, you know the first thing we're doing is still maintaining that um, optimization of what everyone wants today. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is you know taking the traditional H.264 codecs yep. that are out there mm -hmm. and just making sure that we can offer our customers the best, most optimized solution to allow them to deliver their content with very high quality um, across any type of network, whether it be a uh, bandwidth proficient network or one that's restrained. Yep. Uh, and we do that in a multi-codec fashion so we can mm -hmm. deliver T64, T65, VP9. Um, I guess um, the other thing we're really highlighting as well again is, um, is AV1. Um, AV1 we see is, I think, as like I said, it's, um, it's the next gen codec that's coming. Mm -hmm. It's gonna challenge where MPEG are today with HEVC. Okay. Um, it's a significant improvement over H.264. Mm -hmm. And I think we've already seen some tests that we've been doing where we've seen even now 30% improvements over ATVC. So, mm -hmm. um, so we've been demonstrating that. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we've uh, been working very hard on things like the title encoding. Okay. Um, and now we've added the, the AI aspect to that, which is the machine learning element. Um, mm -hmm. So we're demonstrating that on the booth and that's had a very, very good reception. Uh, one of my architects delivered a paper on it earlier. So, um, we're getting a lot of uh, positive feedback from that. Mm -hmm. And again, the advantages that that brings the, the new media space mm -hmm. and the you know the consumer experience is all around yeah. quality of experience and high quality. Mm -hmm. and, um, and ultimately that's what our driver is and our goal is. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for sharing with us, David. Thank I you. hope Bitmovin will have a great broadcast Asia. Thanks very much. Thank you.